Uh, I grew up travelling the east coast of Australia. When I was five, my parents decided they wanted to explore. They bundled the family into a caravan and we'd move every 12 or 18 months going somewhere new and experiencing new things. I'm sure that's where some of my early interest in science came from. I left high school and actually went straight into a chef's apprenticeship. There's a lot of things that being a chef have brought into my professional career. Good time management is one. And the other is pattern recognition. It's about spotting the patterns and interpreting the patterns in what looks to other people like a completely random set of dots. So I went back to university to do a biology degree. I was about half the way through the biology degree when I'd started to take on a couple of geology and astronomy subjects and got really excited. The title of my PhD was The Tectonic Reactivation and Paleostress of the Northwest Shelf of Australia. One of the things Investigator has on board is two multi-beam echo sounders. These are pieces of sonar equipment. We base sound waves from the bottom of the ship down to the seafloor in a big fan-shaped array. We look at how long it takes that sonar to hit the seafloor and come back. The time it takes tells us how far away the seafloor is, which gives us a 3D picture of the shape of the seafloor. And we use that for site profiling, understanding structural geology, understanding how the Earth's crust has been formed, and trying to find good sites to be testing coring equipment. Quite a bit of this can actually feed into how we control Australia's resources, but also understanding how environments for Australia's fish resources can be. Fish prefer certain types of marine environments, and you have to know where those environments are before you can understand where fish might be.